Hello, welcome to Stampin' by Hannah. Thank you for joining me on Make It Monday. Um, this Monday is very special. This is the last Monday of March 2017, which means it's the last Monday of celebration. Celebration ends on Friday. And I just wanted to give you a bit of a heads up that these stamp sets won't be available after then. So if you want any of these, you're going to have to have to put a £45 order in quick to get hold of them. We have some fabulous, fabulous, fabulous stamp sets available. Um, in the UK, as far as I know, at the moment, at the point of why I film this, everything is still available, but they are while stocks last. Um, so go over, check out what's still available. And don't forget to get your hands on these fabulous things. I'm using this one today. I love this. I'm going to be really sad to see this go. Um, while I'm waffling, though, don't forget I also have this brown box to give away. <laughs> Can I show you what's in it? Um, this brown box contains, yes, I have packaged it all back up, a um, celebration tin, which also, I believe, is still available if you want to get one for free with nothing in it. Um, but I've got one that's full of goodies. You see all the goodies in there? That is my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Don't forget to go and click um, the video. I'll try and remember to link it down below. Um, and um, to be in one of the chats of winning that I can't wait to send that out to somebody. And I don't know if I've talked about this on my YouTube channel yet. I have got to celebrate the end of celebration during April. I will be sending out some random acts of kindness. So I have got a whole craft room full of retired stamps, retired dies. Um, I might even sneak an ink pad or two in there. Um, and some and loads and loads and loads of handmade cards and projects that are starting to sort of fill my room a little bit. And so I'm trying to clear some space. And thought, I'm going to send them to you because I love sending things out. And I know you love receiving them. So if you want to sign up as to be part of my Random Act of Kindness, do click in the link in the down bar below and there will be a link on my blog post to that as well. Shall we make a card? I've got a card product for you today and I'm going to use a load of celebration products because it's the last Monday. I am so, I have loved this celebration. It's, it's been amazing. So I have got, <laughs> I pulled out a load of random stuff and I haven't made the card already. I'm sort of winging it a bit today. I don't know if you can still tell, I've had one hell of a cold. I missed last Monday and I missed the Friday before, um, basically because I couldn't speak. Uh, this cold has absolutely been an absolute killer. I had two days in bed, I couldn't lift my head off the pillow or anything, it was awful. So, so I haven't made anything, I'm really naughty, I'm so behind. Last week I was literally blogging the night before the blog post went live, all week. And I'm hoping that I'm, today is my catch up day, today is Saturday the 25th, the day that I filmed this, and I'm hoping to catch up. So, a card, I've got a congratulations card for you. And I've got a card by Samella Mambo. I've got a piece of the Inside the Lines of the Sign Series paper. This is also one of our celebration freebies. I've got a piece of um, Whisper White card stock that I have embossed with the polka dot embossing folder already. Um, I have a secret about these. I have a stack of these, literally. A whole pile from an event a couple of years ago. If they ever retire that embossing folder, I'm going to be I'm really upset. Um, I love the layout of this card. I use it quite a lot. But the uh, polka dot embossing powder. So I, I I cut and embossed loads more than I actually needed for some swaps. So I've still got a stack of them. So I, I roll them out every now and again. I've been trying to use them up. Can you tell? If you check my blog, you'll have seen them a, bit, a fair bit recently. So I've also got a bit of a doily. Um, a delicate detail border, a bit of a doily, um, a congratulations stamp from da, 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 Designer Tea, which is also free with separation, and some inks and other stuff. So, shall we shall we see if I can actually make a card with all this? Let's have a look. I've got a plan, I do have a plan. So, I'm going to heat emboss this um, stamp in Melon Mambo. Now, we don't have Melon Mambo embossing powder. But we do have clear embossing powder. And there's two ways to do this. You can ink up your stamp with Versamark and then ink it up with the um, coloured ink and clear emboss it that way. But if you get to it quickly, you can just heat emboss straight onto the ink. So let's have a little look here. I'm just gonna open, this is how I store my embossing powders. 
and you'll see why in a moment. Take the lid off that and be very brave. I'm also, if you can see, I've got a black wire here. This is for my heat gun. <laughs> I usually unplug it when I'm filming, but I haven't, I haven't unplugged it today. So, let's get this. I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White here. So I'm going to ink that, get that nice and inky in Melon Mambo. I'm going to stamp that down. And then, quickly before it dries, get clear embossing powder all over it. Just like that. And can you see? I'm sure you can see. Or you might not be able to. There is a layer of embossing powder on there. Oh, and I've spilt embossing powder all over myself. That's quite normal. Anybody else make an absolute mess whenever they get the embossing powder out? Is that just me? <laughs> I have them in these boxes so that I don't make as much mess as I do when I've got them in little tubs. But I think I might need the boxes. And I've closed this as well before. Three of the ketchups up on my table because I can just guarantee if I leave a um, ink pad open, she suddenly decides to get really interested. I'm going to turn my heat gun on now, so if it gets really loud, I apologise. And I always, before I bring my heat gun to the paper, get it warmed up and get it hot. Um, just for a couple of seconds, just off, off the paper, so that when you bring it in, it doesn't warp your paper so much. So, I hope you can see this melt. There we go. Can you see that changing? It's a, I love heat embossing. Love it. Okay. So there is that. I'm going to leave that just to, just to um, cool a moment. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment in basic black. And I'm just going to stamp it straight on, let's do the same piece of um, Whisper White because I'm going to fussy cut these out. Now the basic black um, sentiment is really easy because I'm literally just going to snip it like so. There we are. Um, but this piece is going to be slightly more complicated so let's go for some fussy cutting. I haven't done any fussy cutting on this channel for ages ages and ages so the trick oh, is to get the right way around for a start because I'm left-handed I do find fussy cutting a little bit more complicated because I can't always see what I'm fussy cutting so the the kind of standard um, instructions for fussy cutting is to keep your scissors still and move the paper now I like the, the idea of that, but it just doesn't always work. <laughs> um, I try it, I try it every time, but it doesn't always work. Um, sometimes you just have to move your scissors. Um, I'm not going to fussy cut this whole piece, because I don't need all that much of it. Probably to the next, the top of the next peak, probably. Will probably be enough. And for all this looks like a really complicated shape, it's really not too bad to fussy cut. Like so. So I'm just gonna just I'm gonna trim the the other side off totally straight. I don't need to fussy cut that. I have not got enough time for that. <laughs> and I'm gonna just like so. Isn't that cute? I'm just gonna straighten that bit up because that's all kinds of wonky there we are so let's assemble our card shall we so I've got my card base my card base is always half a sheet of A4 folded in half sometimes I fold them that way so that they open like a book and sometimes I will fold them kind of I'll cut them lengthways um, and you fold in the middle my piece of um, designer Swiss paper is cut the exact same size as the front of my card base which is 14.8 centimetres, sorry 14.8 by 10 and a half um, which is actually slightly shorter um, than half a sheet of A4 but it's because it technically a uh, half a sheet is 14.85 or something ridiculous it's easier just to cut 14.8 so I'm going to snail 
the back of this piece of the bonuses paper and this is a point where I'm really brave normally or I, what I used to do with, th with techniques like this where you're covering the whole sheet is to use um, some tearing tape you know where you've got the the paper backing uh, have I got one here yes this isn't a stamping up real but this is why I don't use it so and you take the paper backing put it on and then just take a little bit of the paper backing off so you've got a piece of the paper backing sticking off one side um, and then when you get it in the right place you can gently peel the rest of the backing off and it will sit nicely but I, I don't make things easy for myself when I'm filming so I'm going to layer that up onto there just like that and I've got a ever since a hint of pink on one side but that's absolutely fine i've then got my piece of whisper white i think i might put this on to pop dots so yeah let's let's stick some dimensionals underneath there so i've got four dimensionals one on each corner and i will put one in the middle and like so First, I've left my silver doily in shot. Are you being dazzled by my silver doily? <laughs> I hope not. That's going right in the middle of there, like so. And then I'm going to cut off some of the doily because I think it's probably a bit too much. There we go. So I'm going to layer that up like that. Ooh, yeah, probably even even still possibly a bit too long so right a snail like so and I am actually going to stick it onto the that piece the backing rather than yep yeah. snail the top of that one because I don't mind that look of kind of things going across layers I quite like it actually so I'm going to just flip that card over and snip off that piece so that it's, because it's now absolutely straight. Oh, you know, this is the point where I really curse being left-handed because I can never get the right angle for this. There, that will do. And I've slipped into it. There we go, never mind. Like so. And then I'm going to grab a piece of foam adhesive strip just because it's slim for the back of my sentiment like so and I think to finish off some silver metallic stars I think Normally do dots, I don't do other shapes very often. I'm going to do a trio of those, so there's in a nice triangle. And that is me making a card totally, totally just, just making a card. <laughs> no plan, <laughs> or very little plan. And that is it. Thank you ever so much for joining me on Make It Monday. Um, I hope you enjoy my videos. Do let me know if there's anything you'd like to see. Don't forget to shop the final week of celebration and I will see you here again on Friday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.